Hi, I'm Dee Griffin, local television news anchor and reporter and Fisk University graduate in the class of 1992. Today, we're going to tell you why Fisk University is the right choice for you. Fisk was founded in 1866, and since then we've been educating students and shaping leaders. You will hear firsthand from our alumni, faculty, and students why Fisk ranks as one of the top liberal arts schools in the country. To get started, we want to make sure you know exactly what Fisk University is all about. We're the beginnings of the Ku Klux Klan and the Knights of the White Chameleon. At Fisk, the building walls would be thick, six and seven inches thick. If you could have a fireproof campus, it was as close to fireproof as possible. My two favorite buildings, aside from Jubilee Hall, would be the chapel and, of course, the administration bill in Milo Cravath. Because of their, uh, Milo Cravath's somewhat gothic ar architecture, and um, the chapels are a Victorian look. When I thought about going to college, that's exactly what I thought a college would look like. When Fisk opened its doors and when that bill was completed, most students didn't have watches. It was a symbol for class change. Later, it was the emergency symbol. And much later, by the 1940s, the bell was the victory bell. And always the view at Fisk architecture has been to keep three areas pivotal to Fisk, representing history and students, representing the world of religion, and representing scholarship. My senior year of high school, I told my friends, my Caucasian friends, that I was coming to Fisk. And when I explained that it was a historically black college, they said, Tori, that's silly. Why would you go to a black college? That's racist. That's racist. Let's, let's get this stereotype out of the way right off. Oh, no, you don't have to be black to come to Fisk. You know, that's one of the, one of the things that I think surprises a lot, of, a lot of our visitors. I love this line because the first president of Fisk University, uh, when Fisk was open, made the pronouncement that Fisk would offer the finest education available to young people in America, regardless of race. But there's never been a time in the history of Fisk University when all persons weren't welcome. The original faculty, when they came, their students, their children had to be educated here. It's among the most diverse faculties in the country. The commitment to Fisk isn't to race, it's to academic excellence. Fisk produces some of the greatest leaders and brightest minds in the nation. We've been doing it for 140 years, and Fisk is poised for the future. Fisk is actually one of the hottest colleges in the country. Just ask some of our students. Fisk is a great university because it blends academic excellence with spiritual and social development. Fisk is unique because of its size and that one-on-one -on -one attention that you can get quite easily. All the professors care about you achieving greatness. They have two different teaching methods and you have to adjust accordingly. I didn't know it was going to be such a, such a great fit for me, that I was going to be able to adapt so well. You see someone on the yard, chances are you're going to see them a couple more times and if we don't speak then we wave or we smile. Since it is a small school, I believe that I would still have that comforting atmosphere but they would still be pushing me out um, to grow and branch on my own. And the people do not happily greet you all the time. So just to get that here is a great feeling. You can tell our students really love their experience at Fisk University. That's why Fisk ranks among the top colleges in the nation in student retention. A lot of that success is attributed to our professors. Our faculty is second to none. Each of our professors offers a unique, engaging style in the classroom to help our students grow culturally, spiritually, and academically. Every generation is a legacy to the generations that follow. Dr. L. M. Collins, he's what holds the family together. If you come back for a reunion at Fisk, he offers a seminar on an African-American literature, and the special collections uh, room is standing room only with Fiskites returning for that lecture and Dr. Collins. Last year it nearly brought me to tears. He's been at Fisk for so long as a professor. He's excellent. He was around during the Harlem Renaissance. He lived through that era. He has always set a standard for Fisk and sets a standard for American higher education. Dr. L. M. Collins, um, he's still got it. 
an outstanding school for the liberal arts, Fisk boasts one of the best scientific research schools you'll find. In fact, every day you use something that was pioneered at Fisk University. Fisk University is the largest producer of African Americans who go on to earn their PhDs in the sciences than any other school in America. Well, I think one of the major things that people overlook about Fisk University is our research, and we have a history of research. We're on a campus where African Americans began doing scientific research for science, technology, and, and use by, by real people. The second black to receive his PhD in physics, Dr. Elmer Imes, he actually did the first work in what is known as infrared spectroscopy. The process of infrared that you use to open your car doors, to change your channel. Where was that developed? At Fisk University. Presently, there's research on the AIDS virus and immunity system. We are quite known in the scientific field for our research in material science. Definitely players in the game of research in the areas of physics, chemistry, and biology. In the fine arts, Fisk has produced many notable authors, poets, artists, as well as the world-famous Jubilee Singers. I think as I sit in this room with the murals of Aaron Douglas on this uh, wall, that Aaron Douglas was my art professor. The murals tell the story of blacks being taken out of Africa, enslaved, and brought into the New World, and then they're moving on into northern industrial cities during the great period of um, northern migration. We also have Aaron Douglas' papers, a speech that he had done, an autobiography that he had written. While we can look at some of the paintings that he has in one building, you could come to Special Collections and actually see some of his personal papers. The murals, of course, were restored um, in 2002-2003 uh, by a company that has done a great deal of restoration work at the Vatican in Rome. And today, when you see them in Kodak Hall, you see the finest artistry of one of the leading artists of his day uh, at the height of his mastery. The Jubilee Singers were the first African-American musical ensemble to travel nationally and internationally. They kept alive with the Negro spiritual. The troupe in 1871 and 1873, all of their strivings to keep Fisk afloat. We have Nashville known as Music City because of contribution of the Jubilee Singers. Our mayor knows the reason that that is true is because Queen Victoria, she sent one of her ministers back to Nashville with that huge life-size portrait of the Jubilee Singers in London. It commemorates their visit to England in the early 1870s. You know, it gave me a perspective of, wow, we have a greater impact on the country or on the world than even I realized. In a sense, the Jubilee Singers represent all that there is about them love, family, and fellowship. We have Jubilee Day in their honor, and to honor their sacrifice, their blood, sweat, and tears, literally, has given to the university, to Nashville, and to the world. The Fisk experience teaches students outside of the classroom as well. Things like unity. You see, at Fisk, we are family. This guide or Fisk family, certainly when you attend Fisk, it is something about the uh, nurturing environment the fact that they care and people is not just a, an act or a gimmick or a show. They really do really care. Students who come to Fisk feel like they were somehow led to the institution. You no, know, it just, it, it, it's a stronger connection between administration and the students and the faculty and staff and the students. Usually when you come as a student, you immediately become a part of the Fisk family. People are invested in your character. People are invested in your, your leadership ability. Teachers know you, even if you don't take their class. They know you. And if you intimately know your president, your faculty advisors, your professors, it is, it becomes a family. And we speak of ourselves in that way. The togetherness that everyone at Fisk feels helps bring our students together to rise to the top. And that's really what Fisk University is all about, helping our students reach their personal goals and molding leaders for the future. We invite you to come and join the Fisk family. <laughs>